Rugby has been around since its creation in 1823, nearly 200 years ago. Since then, rugby has been a very popular game that is enjoyed all around the world by many different people. Rugby has always had a rich schoolboy heritage, as rugby was created by schoolboy Webb Ellis at Rugby School in 1823. Now rugby is played in a hundred different countries around the world and currently played in over 2,000 secondary schools in England. In this documentary, we're going to be talking about the health and safety risks that come along with playing rugby and whether or not it should be allowed in schools. The main risks that occur in rugby are most often from the contact aspect of the game, like the tackling and the scrums. These injuries caused can lead from anything like a sprain or a dislocation up to a breakage or even concussion. Concussion is caused from a blow to the head. This makes the brain move around and bang against the hard bone of the skull. Concussion can cause headaches, sickness, confusion and even memory loss. The RFU is implementing schemes to try and lessen the risks of concussion in children. The main one being Headcase. This is the UK's leading concussion awareness education resource. Do you think the RFU does enough to try and protect players in the game? I think it's very high on their agenda because they don't want a sport that, that people are, are nervous about playing for fear of risk of injury all the time. And like any sport, there's a risk of injury and that makes it exciting. That's part of the, the, the thrill of playing something. Uh, there's many people who you know, jump off cliffs with parachutes and things like that and they're, they're very high risk sports so there's an element of that in, in, in anything. So I think safety is, is a huge priority for the RFU. They want a game that everyone can enjoy and, and play and enjoy watching as well how to prevent and manage suspected concussion. Doctors are worried that repeated concussion in children could lead to some severe long-term injuries. In if you could change one aspect of the game to improve player safety, what would it be? I'd introduce tackling below the waistline. Leg tackles only, uh, they're for rooms on the upper body. Uh, means players can pass more offloads and the game would uh, open up and be more free-flowing. So, how has your injury affected you in everyday life? Um, it affected me quite a lot, to be honest, because I was in a cast and on crutches for quite a long time on the first one. It was about two, three months I was in, in at least a cast the whole time or a boot. And I actually missed one of my holidays going to Turkey because I wasn't allowed to fly or anything and it would have been a waste of time going out there on crutches anyway because it would have been a horrible time. And then also, Later on, when I was slightly getting better, I got uh, dropped from What's the Warriors. So, how has your injury affected you in everyday life? Um, well, it started affecting me, I noticed when I was just doing everyday things, like I loved water skiing, and when I was trying to get up, when the boat pulled, it popped out of place, and I started noticing things like that, so I had to get the operation. Um, and after the operation, they told me I couldn't play rugby again. And then I just still have never really got back to it. Like I can't um, swim like over arm crawl. I can't throw a ball over arm. I can't play any of those sports that I love to play. Rugby can harm you mentally as well as physically. Like in many other sports, coaches and teachers can place enormous amounts of stress on players to train harder and for longer. This can lead to a low self-esteem and depression. Would you say that the benefits of rugby outweigh the risks involved? Absolutely. You, you, you know, you, you can't uh, mitigate all risks in, in any walk of life. You, you know, you can fall over a, a curb walking down the streets and, and hurt yourself but uh, the benefits of rugby are obviously the, the, the teamwork, the lifelong lessons you can uh, get out of the game about working hard and resilience, um, training, uh, working together, uh, dealing with success and failure. Hard, hard to replicate in other sports the, the nature that rugby has uh, where people really bond and, and get very close relationships as a team. 
Would you say the benefits of rugby outweigh the risks involved? Um, I would say they outweigh the risks because there's a social side, it can keep people happy, keep them fit. And I feel like a lot of people still play knowing the risks of rugby.